Hello and welcome to a bright but cold and chilly morning uh, here in Manchester. Um, it's a bit earlier than it should be because we went to British summertime yesterday, so I'm a bit knackered. Um, and I've got my summer apparel on um, because it's now the summer, apparently. Right then, quick update on what I've been doing. Um, I haven't done a Monday morning musing for a while, but I haven't had that much to muse about, so I haven't done one. Um, although I have now, so I'm doing one. The thing that I've been doing recently is, as you know, is the Napoleonics. Um, I've uh, started the Prussians that uh, I was bought for Christmas, uh, and I'm just about to finish the first battalion. Uh, I just got the officer to do, uh, and the drummer. And the drummer, I thought was going to be quite hard. He is quite hard, but uh, not from a point of view of painting, but from a point of view of finding out information. And like I said, the, the thing about this, uh, I've got lots of different information about um, his epaulets. So, there you go. Um, so that's what I've been doing recently, and that's what I'll continue to be doing for the next short wee while. Uh, talking of Napoleonics, uh, I'd just like to give a shout out for uh, Paul Alba. as uh, fairly recent uh, channel. He's been really helpful to me. Uh, he's sent me loads of information and stuff, and uh, he's just started posting his videos up a, f a few a couple of months ago, I think. Uh, obviously, Napoleonic based, so um, go and have a look at him. He's got he's done some stunning work. He, he does mainly uh, 15 millimeter, but he did, I did see a video from him about 28 millimeter last week. But um, 15 millimeter or AB 18 millimeter, absolutely fantastic, absolutely. Fantastic uh, stuff. Um, states of the trains. Well, um, just because I've not done any videos on the train doesn't mean that I'm not doing them. One of the big problems I face at the moment is budgetary. Um, and I'll come on to that in a minute. But um, I've got as far as I can on the amount of stuff that I bought. I'm now saving up to buy a bit more stuff. Then I can um, then I can carry on. But yes, the trains are still featuring a lot. This, I think, is the most expensive part of the whole business uh, in, in relationship to just starting out is getting the um, getting the materials and stuff together to build the baseboard. Because once you've got a couple of trains, I suppose it's fine. But you could just toddle along with the scenery then, which in my my mind doesn't isn't that much, you know, because I I'll be scratch building most of the stuff or buying the Metcalf car kits and uh, modifying them. Uh, which brings me on to something else, uh, cross hobby relations and cross hobby borders and why uh, is it a good thing to uh, go and look at different things. Well, this is the main nub of, uh, of the muse today in my mind. I do, like I say, uh, I just recently come out of the closet as a, as a, uh, a train, model train person. Um, I've been harbouring desires to look at train sets for quite a long time. You know, I mean, I've I've got magazines and stuff from uh, you know train magazines going back to the eighties, uh, and I thought, well, you know, I've got I'm at the age now where I can do it, uh, and I've got the room, so I thought I would. The thing is, I found out so much new information and and, and new ideas from the the the, the, the railway modellers that. I hadn't encountered in um, war gaming circles. Good one I spotted the other week was um, soldering lead. Uh, now you might think, well, why? What's what? What do you mean soldering lead? Well, basically, you know, like white metal buildings and white metal monsters and things, and we glue them together and they fall apart. I was watching this video the other day. It wasn't on YouTube. It was on um, a magazine, a British railway model magazine. And he was showing us, he said about sticking white metal um, buildings together. And obviously, I, I would have just glued the thing, but he got out this little like, little piece of uh, white metal solder, or lead solder, or whatever it is, and um, soldered the thing together. And I thought, wow, the amount of times my Griffin's wings have fallen off, and I could have just, just run in a little bit of this soldery stuff, and it would have been fine. Um, 
it's little things like that. You pick up loads of stuff. It's like me and the Napoleonics. I mean, I was trapped for years uh, in into the into the Games Workshop cycle uh, of uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle um, and and all of their various uh, spin-off wargamey type things. I mean, I started I, I started with Micro Armor back in the seventies, but um, you know by the by the eighties I was hooked I was hooked on the Games Workshop gear. You know what I mean? I had a serious habit. But um, I've broken that habit now and come out into back into the historical side of, of uh, wargaming. And I regret keeping my head buried in the Games Workshop sort of stuff. Um, and not really looking outside of that little box. Um, and I miss so much stuff. I mean, I wish I'd started the Napoleonics now a good 20 odd years ago. Uh, I've missed out on so much fun uh great sculpting sculpting great you know great painting uh, diverse painting interesting fluff as in the the real history um do you know what I mean and I think uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of people do tend to do that they do just stick inside this this little cocoon of whatever it is whether it be whether it be ancients whether it be bolt action whether it be uh, Napoleonics or fantasy or whatever, and you and, and 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 you miss out on such a lot of stuff, uh, and you only look at the videos to do with that, and you only you, you know like you see somebody puts a video up, and I'm guilty of it myself. I'll see somebody put a video up about I don't know something that I'm not doing. I think oh well, I'm not doing that, so I'm not going to watch it. Well, you know I, I occasionally do that, but I don't do it all the time anymore. But you know. A few years ago, that's what I've been like. I said, "All oh, right, well, it's n I'm I'm doing I'm doing Tau at the minute, so I only want to watch videos about the Tau, and uh, you miss out on such a lot." So um, I encourage everybody to go and look at all the various videos that people do because there's little little hidden gems in a lot of those videos on techniques and ideas and uh, you know ways of skinning the cat because there are many ways to do it, and some of them are better than the ones that we currently do. And um, I know a lot of people are you know, a bit too proud to admit that somebody else has got a better idea than them. Uh, but you should do. Broaden your mind. Go and have a look at something. Go and have a look at some train videos. Some superb stuff going on in the train video market, uh, world. I'm not talking about watching the ones where the trains go around. I'm talking about the ones where people are building the layouts. You know, uh, there's some good, um, there's some really good uh, modellers in there. It's the same with the vehicles and uh, you know scale modelling and all that sort of stuff. A lot of us war gamers ignore scale modelling, but I did a lot of scale modelling. You know, I did a lot of um, tanks and things, and I cut my teeth on you know doing one thirty fifth scale armour. And um, you know, you learn a lot. So you, and you can apply that to to your, to your, to your forty k or your fantasy vehicles or whatever it is. You know, and everything's everything's relevant and. Um, I think we should. Uh, I think I think you should widen your mind, as they say, as Aldous Huxley said. Take a bit of uh, train modelling acid, and uh, open open the doors of perception. So, um, was it Aldous Huxley? I can't remember. It was somebody like that. Um, the next thing I'm doing, talking about opening the doors of perception, is I will be doing the May painting challenge, as I've said. I'm doing um, the. Uh, carrying on with my Prussians, which is one of the reasons why I was doing the Prussians in the first place, started them now, was to sort of get my eye in, because um, it, it's a bit, it's a pretty um, hard job, is, 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 is Warboss Tay's painting challenge, because it's every day, and um, you know, it's a constant thing. He's done the wimp out clauses of these eight days, I see, but um, I won't be wimping out. Um, well, like I say, I'll do a video about, I think we have to do a video about what we're doing. I'll do that towards the end of April, I think, uh, just to just to sort of uh, get my own mind sorted, let alone uh, anybody else's. But yeah, I'll be doing them, and that's and uh, there'll be various aspects. I've got stuff on order that's coming to do with that, you know, from from Calpain Elite uh, war bases and stuff like that. So um, some there'll be some good stuff to do with that that's coming up. I, I, I enjoy I enjoy the Warboss Tape Painting Challenge, whether it be in July or May. Uh, I've done it for years, so um, I don't see why this year should be any exception. 
Uh, the other thing that uh, is a bit of a, it's not a flying ointment, but it will stop me from hobbying for a while, is I've got to go back to Ireland. Um, I don't know whether any of you are aware, but uh, we had a, a family death, quite a significant family death, uh, a few weeks ago, and um, I had to go to Ireland for that. And I've got to go back to Ireland now to um, to sort of work out things with the family. So, um, you yeah, know, because uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. So we're going over there again. Um, I think it's the Tuesday after Easter. And um, we'll be there for a while. So anyway, uh, that's all about the muse at the moment. I've got nothing else to sort of waffle on about, I don't think. Um, like I say... Go and have a look at other videos that you wouldn't... In fact, just just make a point of what every day going to look at a video that you think, oh, that's not interesting, and then just go and watch it and see. And, and you never know, you might come away with a little hidden gem. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you at some point in the future. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>